A development of homes designed for ill and injured service members when it was unveiled to the public today in South Park. Freedom Station 2 is the second project of its kind in San Diego. News 8's Shannon Handy gives us a look. Freedom Station 2 took two years to build. Organizers say living here will be life changing. And for one former Marine Corps Colonel, he knows firsthand just how special a place like this is. Friday's ribbon cutting ceremony at Freedom Station 2 isn't just a celebration, it's the beginning of a new life. Everything we can do to make it peaceful, happy, healthy, that's what we're going to do to help them transition. Sandy Lemkuler is the founder and CEO of Warrior Foundation Freedom Station, the organization behind Freedom Station 2. There are eight single room cottages plus a home for visiting family. The so-called village was designed specifically for ill and or injured servicemen and women as a place to transition into civilian life. It's the second of its kind in San Diego. So I was injured in 2010. Josue Baron lived in Freedom Station 1 after losing his left eye and leg in Afghanistan. He was just 21 at the time, admittedly scared to face his new reality. After learning about Freedom Station 1 while recovering at San Diego's Naval Medical Center, he was allowed to live there with his new wife. Among his neighbors, four fellow Marines in his units. The camaraderie is always there. Today, the Purple Heart recipient is thriving. He and his wife live in Temecula with their three boys. Josue is an accomplished basketball player and cyclist competing in the Invictus Games. He doesn't let his injuries define him. In fact, he embraces them. His lost eye has been replaced with a Marine Corps emblem. It represents who I am. I feel like I'm living a normal life. Josue was among several people who toured Freedom Station 2 Friday. News 8 is a proud partner. Our president and general manager, Alberto Mier y Taran, stopped by as well. Tenants will be moving in in the coming days. The average stay, 16 months, at which point tenants who do pay a discount of rent move out, making way for others who need the same kind of support. It's helping those who who may not have the confidence right now, you know, to go out into the world and live on their own. If you'd like to learn more about the work the Warrior Foundation Freedom Station does, we put a link on our website. Just go to cbsa.com and click on the help button. Back to you. Boy, they have just done a beautiful job of finishing those cottages. And I think what I like most about this concept is they've taken the idea of a support group and turned it into a support community. And I think it's going to be really effective. Yeah, empowering them with their living situation, but giving those people who know the same story, they, they understand what they're going through. They are that community, like you said. And seeing them lifted the yeah. way Josue was in there is beautiful stuff. Very inspiring, indeed.